it's Alicia and I am t I was 26 weeks yesterday so it's Saturday um, I missed today we had kind of a crazy day yesterday and ended up going to the Astros game last night spur of the moment so um, I didn't have time to do my vlog yesterday so today is Saturday I was 26 weeks yesterday um, I had a doctor's appointment on Wednesday so three days ago now and um, I know I've mentioned this before, I think in a much earlier vlog, like week seven or eight, around the time when we were still trying to figure out if there was a baby in there. Um, and once the baby was measured, it measured at a certain point, though by my last menstrual cycle, I was something, the date, the due date was something else. Okay, I hope I'm not confusing you. So my due date to... That, that I've always thought my due date was, was November 25th. Well, it turns out my November, my due date to my doctor's office is November 21st. So technically, by their measurements or their mathematical calculations, however they figure the birth date, um, it's, I have a Monday turnover. Um, so I'll be Supposedly, I'll be 27 weeks on Monday, which will be my third trimester, which is a little crazy. Um, as of right now, I'm still going to do my updates on Fridays because it's just easier for me. Um, my daughter starts kindergarten on Monday, so um, who knows? That might be might become the day I can do it, but we'll see. Um, so, I'm off topic. <laughs> Back to my doctor's appointment. Um, my blood pressure was 120 over 80, which is um, no in the normal range, but is um, elevated for me. And again, it was one of those things where they were just like, pump, 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 shh, okay, 120 over 80. And I was like, um, okay. Um, the baby's heart rate was 144. And, for the, and I have a short clip of video of that at the end. Um, my doctor, I got a, okay, so I missed my last appointment. This is the first time I've been back to my doctor in a kind of a month and a half to two month span because I was on that trip in Wisconsin, so I missed one of my appointments. Um, so, um, I did get a letter in the mail saying that my doctor is pregnant and she's due December 13th, so... It shouldn't be an issue unless I go late and she goes early, but um, she's confident it'll be fine, and so am I, so I'm happy for her. Um, she's having a little boy, her third little boy, which is just so exciting. Um, I told her I'll have the three little girls and she'll have the three little boys, and then they can all date, and maybe someday we'll be semi-related. <laughs> um she measured me for the first time, but I was talking to her and she was talking to me, so I didn't actually ask what I measured. I'm sure that if it had been off, she would have said something. Um, but during the time she was measuring me, I said, oh, the baby is stretching. And I've been having these, these stretching sensations for a very long time. Um, and I just thought it was the baby kind of pushing up against, I think I've actually mentioned this before, pushing up against my belly, like from the inside, trying to kind of push out. And she goes, that's a contraction. And I said, that's not the baby stretching? She said, no, that's a contraction. And I said, but I was pretty sure that was the baby stretching. And she looked at me and she said, that's a contraction. <laughs> So, and she started laughing. She said, that's a contraction, and if you have more than three in an hour and you can't get them to go away, um, I need to know about it, which currently hasn't happened yet. But I mentioned at 11 weeks that I thought I was having Braxton Hicks. It just feels different now because the baby's bigger, I guess. Um, and then my, um, my personal trainer wanted me to ask if our exercise was still all right, so I asked her about my exercise. She said, it's fine. Um, so that was basically the appointment. They gave me my glucose drink because I missed my last appointment. They usually give it then and then take the test at the current appointment that I was at on Wednesday. But since I didn't have the drink, I couldn't do the test and I couldn't stay an hour to do it because, um, we were headed out of town, uh, for the evening after that. So my husband was waiting on me. 
Um, so I've brought it home and just in the next two weeks I need to go up on my own. So um, I'll let you know about that. Um, just my symptoms for this week. I am feeling huge. I am feeling so big. Um, I actually told my mom, I was like, I feel huge. And she goes, you are huge. And I just wanted to be like, don't tell me that. And I, my face must have said that. But she said, Alicia, you're pregnant. You always get so big when you're pregnant. And I just wanted to <sighs> kick her in the shin, her skinny little shin. So, um, so uh, on top of just feeling like I am multiplying, my belly's like multiplying by the day, um, my skin is starting to get that itchy feeling, but less itchy, but more stretchy. Like it just feels like it's just stretching and stretching. And um, I've started using lotion to help because, you know, it, it's summer. It can be a little dry. I mean, I do live in the humidity capital of the world. Not really, but it feels like it. But um, it just, it helps. The the um, lotion helps. And I'm a firm believer that um, if you're going to get stretch marks, you're going to get them because your mom had them or your grandmother had them or, you know, whatever. Not because you didn't use lotion or you did lose use lotion. Um, so um, my mom only had one child. That would be me. So this being my third, I really don't know um, stretch mark wise what's going to happen because, you know, with your first kid, um, it's different than with your second kid, and it's different than with your third kid. It's different. It's been different every time. Um, and with P, my second, I got just a few little. They're about a centimeter long, and um, just like three on either side of my hips. You can't see them when I wear a swimsuit or anything. You actually really can't see them when I'm not pregnant. And then I've got one on the top side of each. Um, breast, which was new. Um, so I'm not sure what's going to happen uh, stretch mark wise with this baby. So I'm just doing what I always do. Lotion makes me feel better. I know it's not doing anything stretch mark wise, but it makes me feel better. So um, I mean, to relieve the itchy, stretchy feeling. Um, also, on the note of my tummy and my breasts. <laughs> Um, the veins have come out in full force. They, um, I, I'm very veiny right now, uh, big blue veins, which is not unusual. Um, back to feeling huge. I'm not really fitting into much, um, and it's ultra frustrating uh, because, you know, I still have, let's see, say I'm 27 weeks on Monday. I mean, I'll be 27 weeks next week no matter what. Um, I had my second child at 37, so I still have, chances are I still have at least 10 more weeks to go. And I'm just looking around like, what am I going to wear for the next 10 weeks? Um, I have had ultra nursing, nursing, oh my goodness, I'm going crazy, nesting, like I've, uh, just been cleaning a lot. Um, the nursery is really coming together. I am going to do a making room for baby number two video here, maybe even today, show you what we've done. Um, so I'm, um, I'm really, really nesting and um, I'm purging a lot of stuff, you know, because boy or girl, this baby's coming in November, so it's not going to be wearing zero to three month sundresses. Even in Houston, it's not going to be wearing those. So, um, you know, I'm able, I'm already being able to purge things, which is great. It feels really good. Um, let's see what else. Oh, I mentioned Charlie Horses. Um, they're still uncomfortable, but I eat a banana about an hour or so before I go to bed. And that is really helping um, the Charlie Horses. Now, it doesn't help with my hips. They're still... They're still uh, quite painful at night, but, you know, what are you going to do? You're having a baby. There's only so much you can do about that. So, um, that's all I have down. So, um, I just wanted to say to Megan, I know that your baby, Violet, is coming any time now, and I'm just thinking about you, and um, I know she'll come when she's ready, and I know you're ready to hold her, but... Um, 
she'll be here soon and you'll have her and I'm excited for you so I just wanted to send that shout out um, and let me show you my big old belly I am feeling huge I mean I know I'm not but what's hap what happens to my body is I bulk up I bulk up from about here down, so I get the back fat, I get the big butt, my thighs bulk up, my calves bulk up. I'm a short girl, so my body kind of, um, my body kind of, uh, bulks up to carry the extra weight. And I mean, I, I, I can see, you know, you can see where my body was with a little extra padding around the side. And my belly button seems off center to me, but the baby likes the right side, so. So there it is, like you can see right there. And I don't know if you can see the veins. Can you see that vein, those veins right there? I don't know if you can or not, but, so. Anywho, all right guys, I hope this finds you happy and healthy and you have a great day. See you later, bye. He wants to be surprised. Yes.